Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing the top 5 Tunnel 10 pusher attack strategies that you can use to push to either Champion League, Titan League, or Legend League. The first army of the day is the Queen Charge Mass Hog Riders, and I recommend using this army at the beginning of your trivic push since this army is really only good against Tunnel 10s, which will mainly find around Crystal and Master League. Start off the attack with the Queen Charge, trying to take out the enemy Queen in one or two splash damage defenses like Bomb Towers or Wizard Towers. I drop the Queen and then the Balloon to lure out any outside seeking air mines and drop all the healers. I dropped a Raid spell on the Queen and Healer since he will be going up against the enemy Queen and I want to keep her alive. Also so try to funnel the queen into the base by dropping one baby dragon on both sides of her to take out the outside buildings, and I drop three wall breakers to open into the compartment, but only two are needed to actually break the wall. But unfortunately, the queen didn't decide to go into the base and walked around, which is fine for this particular base because the expos are all in the first compartment. Also, if the base has single target inferno towers, make sure to freeze them around three seconds after it targets the troop. I also drop the other rage to help the queen move through these outside buildings to get out of range of that inferno which he did as soon as I dropped it. But it wasn't a complete waste of a spell since it got her back up to full health to push through the expos. Now the clan castle in this attack is using the flame thinger which you'd want to drop at the very start of the attack to take out as many defenses as possible while trying to avoid expos. But if you can't get those donated to you, the siege barrack is an amazing replacement which you can drop with the king and wizards. And getting back to the attack, the flame thinger is at the bottom and the queen is at the top so in the middle of both I drop the king and wizards and with more wall breakers to open the walls. I drop another freeze on the inferno to keep the king alive and poison the enemy CZ troops. I thought the inferno would go down to that push but it didn't so I dropped a few hog to take it out while dropping the rest at the bottom with the flame finger as I mainly activate the clan castle. I did put an apprentice warden to help support the hogs through the base but having a clan castle with only hogs will work just as well. I drop the first heal around the wizard tower to keep the hogs at full health and drop some cleanup troops at the bottom since its attack does tend to make you run out of time. The second heal goes around the last splash damage defense to take out the rest of the defenses and outside buildings to get the 3 star against this Tunnel 10 for a plus 55 trophies. Moving on to the second army, which is the Golem Valkyrie Pekka attack strategy. This army can honestly be used throughout your entire trivia push if you look for Tunnel 11s, which tend to be pretty common throughout all the leagues leading up to 5,000 trophies. But starting off the attack, you want to create the funnel on both sides of where you want to push into the base, which is normally the closest area area to the town hall but for this base it's in the center so instead I'll be going for the Eagle Artillery since it will destroy the Valkyries if you don't take it out as soon as possible. I create the first part of the funnel at the bottom with one P.E.K.K.A to distract and a few wizards to take out the outside buildings. I do the same thing on the other side which creates the funnel so I can drop the golem in the middle of both groups with the log launcher, both heroes and the rest of the wizards. I then wall break both groups of P.E.K.K.A.s and wizards into the base by dropping three wall breakers on both sides and once the wall opens from the log launcher, drop all the Valkyries to head into the base. As the troops work their way in, drop all four earthquake spells in an area where the log launcher isn't breaking any walls that also opens a big portion of the base. I drop a heal around the core of the base to get everything back up to full and I use the king's ability as it gets to about half health. I use the raid spell on the town hall to take out both infernos, the eagle artillery and the town hall to get the first and second star and I use the last heal on the valkyries as they head up to the top of the base which didn't do much since there are too many defenses to keep them alive. This is usually when the raid ends since this army is mainly a 2 star attack strategy but I try to go for the 3 stars since I have the queen and the apprentice warden still working around the base. But having the queen's ability and a freeze left it wasn't enough to get these 3 stars but a 90% 2 star for a plus 28 trophies will work. On to the third army which is the Zap Dragons. I personally don't use this much since I'm more of a ground attacker but this army can be used throughout a champion league against the occasional Tunnel 10 but mainly Tunnel 11s. I start off by looking for where the air sweepers are pointing and for this base they are both pointing down so going from the top is the best option. I drop all four lighting spells on the left air defense since I can take out the right one with the king and queen. I use the baby dragon and a couple wizards to make the funnel for the heroes to move into the base. With two waves of wall breakers I eventually open up the wall and use the king's ability since he gets below half health. I can now start the main push into the base with one dragon on both sides of where you're pushing then drop the rest in between with all the balloons. I drop the first right spell to get the dragons moving quickly through the enemy queen and electric dragon while dropping the poison spell to take him out. 
I drop the Battle Blimp to move all the way to the Town Hall, and once it's about to land on it, drop a Raid Spell to take it out for the first star. I'm also able to freeze both Infernos to keep that dragon alive as the rest of the dragons move through the base to get that 50% for the second star. This army is only a 2 star army against Town Hall 11 since the air targeting defenses are too much for Channel 10 level troops, but another 28 trophies against this Town Hall 11 isn't too bad. The fourth attack strategy is the Queen Charge Hybrid and this army can be used to your cherry push for gaining 2 stars against Town Hall 11s. I start off the attack at the bottom of the base with the Queen, then Balloon for the outside sticking air mines and all the healers. I drop a Wizard on this Builder Hut since it can one shot it and a Baby Dragon on the other side of the Queen which will guide her into the base. I drop 3 Wall Breakers to break the level 12 walls and this allows for the Queen to take out the Ego Artillery. After that goes down an enemy Electric Dragon and a Balloon comes out of the Clan Castle so I poison them and drop a Rage on the Queen Healers which would take both of them out. I drop the King and Siege Barrack on the left side of the base and wall break in with another 3 wall breakers. This will allow for the funnel to be created so the hogs and miners can have a straight path into the core of the base. The king's ability can be used as it gets to half health and with the queen taking a big amount of damage I drop the other rage and the rest of the wall breakers to get her back up to full and open the wall to get her working through another compartment. Both corners are now cleared and the siege barrack is about to break so now I can drop the miners and hogs to head into the base. Just like the first army you can swap out the apprentice Warden for more hog riders if you can get the warden donated to you. As the hybrid makes it to the core, I drop a heal to keep everything at full health to work through the defenses to get the first star from the town hall. I use a freeze on the inferno tower as the hogs move up to take it out and heal as it wears off. I have no more heal spells, so now I'm trying to take out the last multi inferno tower with the last two free spells, which didn't allow me to take it out, making it a really close attack, but missing out on the three stars with a 97% two star for a plus 31 trophies against this town 11. And the final army of the day is my favorite pushing army, which is the Queen Charge Math Baby Dragons. This army can be used throughout your trophy push since you can attack Tunnel 10s, Tunnel 11s, and even Tunnel 12s. But for today, I'll be attacking this Tunnel 11, starting off at the bottom of the base with the Queen Charge by dropping the Queen, then one Balloon, and all the healers. Drop one Baby Dragon on both sides of the Queen, about two buildings away, which will guide the Queen into the base. I use a Red Spell to get her back up to full health, and I use that rage for the wall breakers to open the compartments. Now for this attack it did take most of my wall breakers to open both compartments which is fine since the queen's main goal against town all 11s is to take out the ego artillery. We got an electric dragon that comes out of the enemy clan castle so I use the poison and another rage to take it out easily. I drop the king around these builder huts since they are easy percentage and I drop a couple baby dragons to guide the queen into the base. The ego artillery has activated so I drop all the balloons at the top left with a rage to distract the defenses and traps while the battle blimp heads towards the town hall for that first star. Once it is taken out, drop the baby dragons around the outside of the base to get the rest of the percentage for the 50% and the second star. And this is where the attacks end with this strategy since the air targeting defenses are too much for 10 out 10 level troops, so a plus 33 trophies to finish off the day isn't too bad. If you want to see this army in action against Tunnel 12, then check out the video linked on screen now. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.